Hey, what's up guys? It's Steve from Kane Time 22 and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I just want to talk about, uh, I posted in my YouTube shorts uh, maybe about a month ago that I hit my 40 pound weight loss goal. Um, over the course of the winter, I went up quite a few pounds and uh, I wasn't happy with it. So I started in April and got to August and hit my 40 pound weight loss goal, which I'm really proud of. I still have more weight to lose here. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 more pounds, I'm on the right track. Um, when I posted that video, I got a lot of great feedback to my surprise. Um, really no trolls hit me up, nobody made fun of me. Um, just a lot of positive feedback. Um, but I did get a lot of messages asking me, how did I lose the 40 pounds? What did I do? And uh, that's great. You know, I love to share my experience with that. But uh, I wanted to do a video so I could just say, hey, I'm going to explain in my video and uh, I'm going to talk about it right now. So one of my big problems with my weight loss or with my weight in, re uh, in general is that I fluctuate quite a bit. I yo-yo. Um, typically in the winter, I go up quite a bit. And in the summer, I do tend to take it off. Um, I'm trying to, trying to stay level this year. So it was important to me to find um, something I could, I know I could stick with eating wise. Not that I'll just suck, suffer through it for a few months and, I'm tired of this. I can't do this anymore. So a big problem for me is that I love fast food. Um, it's a problem. It's not great, but it's my vice. I like Big Macs. I like Whoppers. And I love the convenience of just going to the fast food restaurant or the drive-thru and getting my food almost instantaneously. And now it's on your phone. You just order it and it comes right here. How it, like, it's so easy to just get lazy and eat like that. So I had to think of something that was also convenient and I kind of stole, I tend to lean towards going to Subway. Uh, the, like they say that's a healthier alternative, even though it's not. It's still processed food, but it's like less calories compared to a Big Mac or a Whopper. So I was like, I don't need to go to Subway. But then that's still, Subway kind of sucks and it's expensive. Um, I bought a foot long roasted chicken hoagie with a drink and uh, came, and there's a tipping feature. I, I added the tip and because uh, I'm not cheap. Um, and it came to like $14 and I'm like, I'm not doing this every day. I'm not spending $14 every day. And, uh, if I add that up for the week and sometimes twice a day, I'm going to be spending a fortune. So I kind of stole what they do and it's not a healthy alternative. It's just, it's an alternative for me as far as convenience goes, time, because we're all so busy, um, and just something I could stick with. So I figured why not make my own? roasted chicken hoagie or wrap. So that's what I did. I went to my frozen department and uh, my local grocery store. I got this Tyson grilled ready uh, oven roasted chicken. It's about $9 a bag, which is a little steep. But I mean, when you're spending 14 a pop on a hoagie, you know, this will last you a few days, at least a few days, maybe even the whole week. Um, and it's uh, 110 calories. Uh, for three ounces. I find myself doing six ounces, about two handfuls, and that's only 210 calories. Now what I do with that is I put that on top of these Mission Carb Balance Whole Wheat Wraps. They're 110 calories, um, 33 carbs, but out of all the carbs, uh, 30 of them are fiber. And it also has eight grams of protein. There's a lot of good stuff there. Now, I'm, uh, this isn't a healthy alternative. This is an alternative to fast food for me that I know I could keep up with because of the convenience of it. Um, then on top of that, and this was recommended to me from a friend, uh, G. Hughes barbecue sauce. This only has 10 calories. It's the sugar-free. Um, there are other companies that are doing this as well. They have a lower carb barbecue sauce. So this is what I'm going with for now. And it's helped quite a bit. So by the time I add this all up, I do two servings on the chicken. That's 220 calories, 10 calories for barbecue sauce, 230 calories. And then 110 is 340. That's only 340 calories for a nice meal. So that's a nice healthy alternative to fast food for me. Um, and it only takes two minutes. I lay out the wrap. I put the chicken in the microwave. Um, I find that two minutes and 20 seconds on my microwave is kind of where I want it. Um, and then boom, I'm eating. 
Like I know I could stick with something like this and uh, that's helped me greatly. Um, I'm going to make a quick wrap just to demonstrate and then uh, I'll sum up. Okay guys, so I hop in here. I get my two generous handfuls. I just place it on a paper towel. And again, we're still dealing with processed food. This isn't healthy. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm saying it's a good alternative to fast food. For me, anyway. And I got my second handful. And I'm usually good with two handfuls, which um, I did start weighing these out with a food scale. But um, after a while, I just kind of, that's close to six ounces. So once I do that, I put it, I cover it with a paper towel. And I put it in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, while you're waiting on your chicken to cook, you just spread your barbecue sauce on here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's a little too much, but it's 10 calories a serving. We're good. Okay, the two minutes is up. Gonna get my chicken out. I'm gonna take this one off. Plop it right down here. Roll it up. Done. This is what I've been doing um, to replace my fast food uh, cravings and urges and what I've been filling them in with. Um, I make this uh, grilled chicken uh, wrap. There's not much to it. Now I have, um, I have been, since I got to my weight loss goal, I have been adding things like cheese and uh, some, you know, ingredients here and there, but that's what I did to get to my point now. And I might scale back. I might go back to that because I'm not losing the weight at the rate I want to, but it is still coming off. So it's something I got to judge on my own, but that's it. I mean, that's what I did. I tell people that's what I did. They kind of, I don't know if they believe me or not, but that's what I did. And um, I hope this video is useful and, you know, try it out at three minutes. You got your food quick, easy. It doesn't take a lot of your day about and it's uh, more affordable than going to Subway. But it's, uh, the, so <laughs> the Subway footlongs aren't $5 anymore. The $5 footlong, that's long gone. So hopefully this video is helpful. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, let me know in the comments if you watch this. Take care.